Welcome to USA and what screams more American than fast food restaurants? I will show you top 5 fast food restaurants and we're gonna try it out. We are gonna start with one of the classic ones and that's Taco Bell. The tacos we went with was soft, crunchy and a burrito. I've heard most about the soft taco so I think we're gonna start with that one. <laughs> First impression, that looks so sad. <laughs> what is this? The meat is really salty. Oh, it's dripping. Yeah, it's oil. It's fast and easy, so I understand why people would like it. It's not too bad, it's just a bit salty in my opinion. This is the more classic taco. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice crunch. Mm -hmm. The meat is not as salty. This one is better, but it's not like... We're now at Five Guys where they have hand-cut fries every single day. We went with their classic cheeseburger and then their bacon burger. I think we should start with their classic cheeseburger. This is really cheesy, you can tell. This was really good actually. It's not dry, a lot of meat but a lot of cheese so it's all good. Next up is their bacon burger which is twice the weight and twice the size. <laughs> this looks insane. It's too much, so it kind of gets dry, but we have to try their fresh cod fries. They're okay. They're fries. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, they're just fries. The bacon burger, mm, the fries are normal fries, so I don't get to hide. Our next occasion is a Dunkin, but before we're digging into the donuts, we actually bought some real food, which is croissant with chicken. And then we bought pesto, chicken, tomato, bread. And I just want to add this because the food here is actually quite nice. This is delicious. Okay, we actually got four, five donuts to try out. The Boston cream, chocolate, I think that's cinnamon. C cinnamon? I think that's cinnamon and then an apple bitter or something. I've heard about this before. I don't even know if this qualified as a donut. Mm, feels like an apple pie. Which one should you go for next? First one, double chocolate. Double chocolate. Mm. It's like a brownie, right? It feels like a brownie. Glazed cinnamon, I've heard so much about this. First of all, it's glazed blueberry, <laughs> not cinnamon. Oh, that looks dry. It's like dust. I think so far this is my favorite actually, the blueberry one. Okay, then the final one. <laughs> Boston cream. I'm really excited about that one because I think it has filling. Yeah, you see this? That's the sign of filling. <laughs> Mm. I was like, where's the filling? This is the filling. Obviously, I didn't get that part, so I need to take another bite. <laughs> to conclude it all, they're all really good. They're not dry at all, pretty fluffy. They have a lot of flavor, so you can definitely tell that they're double chocolate chip, blueberry, has vanilla. All in all, I actually really like Dunkin'. Wait. <laughs> six pages. I've always dreamed about having American pancakes stacked up with whipped cream and today is the day. We are at IHOP, which is known for having really good pancakes. <laughs> no! <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this is like eating cake. It melts on your tongue, but it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. I was kind of scared it would be way too sugary, but it's not. Now I understand why people could have this with eggs and bacon. It makes sense to me now. Last but not least, we do have Shake and Shack. And just look at these burgers, guys. It looks insane. We went with the normal one. I was told this is a safe winner. And this compared to Five Guys. <laughs> Double bite. This is one juicy burger. It's so 
good. It's not that filling. It feels very healthy. It feels like a healthy burger. And I think that's because of the fresh lettuce and tomatoes. But again, it's such a juicy burger. On that note, we're gonna keep digging in and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.